Thinking about the Azir, Temp certainly can play it. One of the better mechanical mid laners that we do have in LCK. Yeah, and you were talking about those guys who came back from EU. Well, Ignar is one of them. And, uh, uh, he might just be dead. Just as I was talking about him, the flash forward, oh. that auto gets a second one, Mata, over the head of Ghost. Turret dive as the minion comes. Good start here. Okay, the flash forward into that rune prison. Feels like it lasts a lifetime, and this time it will. Two seconds. Here comes that turret dive. What is he going to do this time? There's even a TP coming in from Mata, because why not? Coming up into the top side, Ignar heals in as well as Tempt. They might just be dead. They've come into their deaths. What are they going to do? Here comes Trick, though, trying to trade back a kill onto the Jarvan. Gets one. Pawn getting low now. Perhaps I spoke a little bit too soon. Ignar going to get one. Smep getting low, too. It's really the Mata show now, 1v2. But it looks like maybe he's gone a little bit too far. Got a stopwatch on the Ignar, forces that flash away. <laughs> and, uh, OK. <laughs> That went a little bit better for me to get together, and they're like, hey guys, it's Papa's birthday, it's Pawn's birthday, let's get everybody Lossix horned. is here. Yeah. Not spotted until now. The flash into the ultimate. Here comes that Orn, though. Amato was stunned and stunned. He wasn't actually able to use the second part of the ult. Yeah, we got Ignar coming in as well. That's going to be the kill onto Deft, right as I'm praising him. And oh boy, Tempt losing more than half his health to one shock blast. And at the same time, the bottom turret goes down. Easy rollster. So much standing gold, and they want ghosts as well. And they're going to have him eating up their BBQ chicken very deliciously tonight. OK. Uh, Crazy's fighting back. He's got Trick with him, but the TP is coming in. Do oh. they have enough damage, though? Boomerang is going to do it, and the TP is canceled, saying, you're dead, buddy. We're going to go for bot turret anyway. Pawn is pushing in on his He's feeling really good today on his birthday. Feels birthday man working Support. for Pawn in terms of engage and also the items in a long meta where games are on average going very long. You can still play side lanes really well. So we'll see some of it as they're hunting crazy. And they should be able to get him. In comes Ignar. Score trying to move forward. He gets that max range cataclysm. A couple more auto attacks will do it, even with how tanky crazy is right now. So free BBQ chicken. I don't know if Pawn goes up to the BBQ people, whether they'll give him another bucket, though, after this game. <laughs> they, they would need Emperor's Divide, probably a ton. Good job of saying, like, sure, take the Baron. Oh, I say that, but then Trick gets caught. Big knockup from Orn in the end, and nice little cataclysm. They're going for another kill. Nice little hammer smash to the face, and Pawn, he wants more. It's his birthday. Looking some, for some more chicken on the back side of that turret. They take it out. Stealing. No, they were all baiting with it. That's why Trick started to walk up, because he's like, wait, maybe I need to get in there for the contest for the smite steal. Instead, it was just a giant room. Now drawing a couple of members top side. That's not good. Rice can always get away. Take down the first inhibitor of the game at 29 minutes. Good time there by KT. Not, K not King Zone, but close enough. Well. Chain of Corruption isn't going to keep him in place then. Now going for the second inhibitor here. BBQ tails between their legs. And inhibitor two goes down. Tower number three up in the top side. This might be one of the most one-sided games we've seen here in LCK. Anyone else ready to watch KT versus King Zone? I am. Sign me up, Papa. That was Get the, me a ticket. That was the Kesper Cup <laughs> last final. Resort, their last stand. But it's double super minions in every lane. And they're going to go for Smev here, but he gets away so easily. The Orn ultimate gets three into the Cataclysm. Pawn and Death still full health, along with everybody else on KT. And really, they're just buying time. It was the last ditch effort for BBQ, trying to get one final team fight for them. And they're going to flash forward. They want some more kills. They want to up their KDA. They get one in the form of Tempt. But now they're just going to go for the Nexus. Game number one, an easy one for KT Rolster. And there's your mistake, Valdez. Victory. Could just go for the ever-reliable Maokai and just try to take out someone like the Callista early in the like fight. Star, where you might sometimes Ooh, get right in there. Nicely done. And that's going to be the combination coming Everyone's on in coming. here. Everyone's coming. Ignar's even getting in there. Can score get away? There's the Cataclysm. But he does not get out of there. As he doesn't flash, he gets taunted Taunting. first blood. And take out that first turret. Gonna give the gold to. Did any of that expectation? 
BBQ could have taken this trick a lot earlier, but we're focused on the first turret of the game. And you were talking about this top turret. Down it goes. Give that gold over to Ghost. Malkai just heals it back up. Deft flash, but he's still in range. He's going to get comboed down. He does have his stopwatch available, though. And here comes Score from behind, trying to knock him up. But in goes Trick. Tempt in the front as well. Smeb comes from behind, but Trick is going to go down here. He went a little bit too far forward. Tempt's now getting low. Pawn jumping on in. But Crazy now trying to get in front. Gets Deft, who pushed a little bit too far forward. Smeb out of mana. Zoe trying to help him out here. It looks like this should be a two for one. No, Smeb is, especially against an Ezreal who can be slippery. You can lock him down. And Deft's positioning, I feel like in this game is going to be very important. I mean, as Ezreal to justify the pick, you have to be a bit more optimistic just because you have those escapes. But a lot of the ones that work against basically Second Drake of the game. Large amount of that gold, again, just comes from the turrets that they've taken out. Three turrets have gone down that lane. Smeb having a little bit more trouble there. Able to hit the Bramble Vest and feel good about it as engage on the score. Okay, he's gonna Hextech Ultimatum and put everything onto the tanky Jarvan here. Gets caught out by all the CC. Can they actually kill him though? They will. Cataclysm comes down and KT decides they're not ready to go a in. a bit yet. out of position, not able to poke early on. And Vladimir are crazy, looking for that flank. They want to turn, they get onto Depth here once again. No stopwatch this time around. Trick though getting low, and Depth this time is going to be able to Arcane shift out. Look at those low members, the two shot barrage gets two of them. And now they're just trying to run. Oh. The flash forward from Pawn, he wants to get that kill. Got him. He's dead. Yes, he will. With that sleep, he is going to go down, and he's going to flash once again. This is the Zoe that we all know and love. Gonna ultimate forward. There's the double kill as Pawn finally finds some success in this game. KT outplays BBQ really hard that they are not able to capitalize on Ezreal being ultimatumed or knocked up. Has flash to turn as well. Wow, he just went really far. Uh, gonna get onto Tempt here. They're trying to try to wombo combo and they will 100%. They get the Jarvan and the Braum and make that another one. Death goes down. Maybe KT getting a little bit too Hebo played them. That was just crazy from the side of KT Rolster, but they opt into the Vladimir very easily. It's going to be a Baron for BBQ against the run of play. <laughs> Got to take out that mid-tier one. They finally get that one. <laughs> Worst nightmare. But now BBQ can always set in the turret dive. We can see crazy on the right of our screen. Yeah, they're looking for it. Coming into Taunt, Trick taking a bunch of damage though early on. He's gonna get knocked up. He's gone. Going a little bit too far forward. This time score will get low, but this is a good team fight for KT so far. But here comes Crazy from the right side. You gotta look at him. Tempt, he is going to go for that Zonyas. Ignar getting in low now. Going a little bit too far. Our Fates Call is gonna save crazy. him for now. Here comes Crazy from behind. There's a three-man ultimate. Let's see how much damage he can get done. He's able to take out the Jarvan and the Ezreal. That's that fed Vladimir that we love coming in from behind with the flank. Gets one, gets two. Now they're just looking for the slow onto Smeb so that they can get an extra kill. The rest of them will go for objectives. Big win there for the Vladimir. He was chased out of it two times, three times. But KT, just like around Baron, kept going. They were never going to stop what they were doing in Smeb. Just buying time and lasts hilariously long. Still, with him dead from the Maokai and then Braum spending all of his time interrupting Crazy, but Exhaust is not going to stop. This free farmed Vladimir sends Death into the Death Chamber solo, and now the base is broken in two spots. Okay, they're going to put on a defense, or they will try here. He's strong enough now to just, you know, get a bunch of his health back from the minions and be totally fine. fine. And they got Baron in a minute, too, so they don't even have to fully push it. Only one auto away, they will just move in, take it. Probably go for this top inhibitor as well. They decide to go in towards the Baron. Crazy just comes from behind and wipes the team. And KT very smartly says, we don't want any of that. We're just gonna let you have it. Try for the steal with and, the tree uh, Well, you can see the damage that goes on to score. They're gonna lose another inhibitor. Ghost and Trick moving forward as score does not want any part of this fight anymore. Three inhibitors down again. Minion waves crashing at the same time. BBQ can go right here. KT don't have engage options. Slow, inevitable end to what should be an almost 100% certain third game of the series. Yeah, eventually. 
Waiting for the next <laughs> load of minions. <laughs> okay, we we're going to have Smeb. He's like, okay, just end it already, please. I'm going to go on in. And uh, Score will as well. The rest of KT says, no, I don't want any of this. I'm going to run away. And unluckily, Braum is going to get caught as well. Looks like BBQ on their way to actually take a game off of KT. Camille disappears, funnily enough. But uh, it's not really going to matter as Pawn, he's trying to put on that base defense, but he can't quite do it. The Nexus goes down, and we're tied up at one to one. Bit of a head scratch oh, in the LCK, oh. but playing with our hearts, the dragon is dead, long live a seer. The Emperor of Sharima okay. Darvin is there, and that gives time for Karsis to get in position. Okay, Ghost will flash out of it, but he's gonna get the stun. Oh. Ghost, he doesn't have his flash anymore. He's not gonna be able to get out of this one. First Blood goes over to score as uh, just the small things at the highest level. Glad we have you here to point them out, Papa. Sort of walking into that brush, now that oh both boy. brushes are awarded. Ignar going so unbelievably deep. He's got the help of Tempt and Trick, though, but it might be a bit too late. He's got stopwatch this time, though. Will he die? He does. He does. Just that ticking damage, and now Trick is a little bit too far forward. Deft is going to take him out. Up in the top lane, though, Smev getting low. One, mi one minute and two minutes, so yeah. two and a half minutes is a lot. This time, Crazy, he's baiting the fight in here. He's a level up, he's got the minions, but look at Smeb, he's going forward. He has the help of Score. Trick is nearby. Flag and Drag is gonna be dodged, but you can't dodge the Cataclysm. Here comes Trick. The stopwatch is gonna be used. Score with that red buff, they wanna take down Crazy. Not gonna use that Nether Grasp just yet. He's gonna save it, he's gonna get it onto Temp, but he gets a double knockup. Two very low members of KT. Now Trick is gonna stop. Watch, in comes Ignar, double kill though. In comes Mana from the top side. Just walking through the lane, gonna help Flash. out a little bit. Players can't be too attached to their bindings in pro play anymore because of all the trades. As Tempt is still here, surprises Score. Yeah, Score, he flashes, but he's not getting away. Looks like we will have a turret taken, finally, down in the bottom side. Def gonna get all of that gold. Imagine how nonsense the past two minutes of play would have been with the old runes. People randomly switching like, over to... Yeah, it's going to be a second Drake, but it looks like BBQ wants to trade it here for the Rift Herald. Deft, uh... <laughs> going for Yoma's Ghostblade, I would imagine, of this build. Okay, we are going deep. Oh, boy. Ghost way out of position, trying to help save the turret, but did not see two members coming from the left side. Ghost getting dunked on Varus to become a turret, getting them more and more Baron control by having minion waves that can be pushed into the inner turret. So KT, and a following the KSV playbook when it comes to rotating your members and guaranteeing. We now have Cloud, Ocean, and Mountain, and another Mountain, what seems the most likely. They're going for Crazy here, red buff on Deft, and he's not one that's gonna miss his Mystic shots. Crazy doesn't really have every, anywhere to go here. That's gonna be a nice two on one. Trick nearby now, looking for the steal, but he's a little bit far. He's gonna try to jump, but he gets knocked up by the Alistair, perfectly done by Mata in position. Smeb's here. Denies it, here comes Smeb. We see him, this time he's gonna be running away again, <laughs> and down he goes. Uh, unfortunate red spot. side jungle. No one really wants to enter the same lane as uh, Ezreal, five items, and also the Relic Shield upgrade. Finally begins to turn, but still getting to work. Uh, kind of Barrage comes in, and everybody on BBQ is like, I'm getting the hell out of here. One turret goes down, and make that two. We're gonna have a third in the mid lane. That does eventually come down here. Ezreal's a one-man poke comp. When you're as good as Daft is on this champion, they're pushing out mid lane, base broken in two spots in an instant. Yeah. Not as fast as game one, but looking very dominant after 30 minutes here by KT. They're making this work. In comes Mata. Says, get the hell away or pay for it. Well, they pay for it anyway. Even if they didn't buy anything, they lose two inhibitors. Oh, There's power on someone like Alistair who doesn't get to back as often as he wants to. Yeah. Very often Key if he has items, right? Like the mobility boots as well. Just make him a presence earlier out on the map. By he is trying a, to a find like center. <laughs> yeah, this is getting pretty comical at this point. I mean, they're 12,000 gold ahead now. Chain of Corruption goes wide. Two mounds and Drake's as well. Yeah, looking for an opportunity here. Oh, nice silence, hitting a couple of them. Cannon Barrage comes in, double knockup, followed up by Mata getting in there. Nobody's gonna die just yet, but they push them back, and oh, okay. Cannon to the face. Down goes Ignar. 
and even the True Shot Barrage to do a little bit of extra damage on the back of that. They're making the final push here, going in towards the Nexus turrets. Not the best turtle comp here from BBQ, and they're very far behind. And it may have the Azir, but not a super powered Azir just yet. Death Door so can sidestep the soldiers so easily. One Nexus turret down. KT continues to push. Flashback up on Mana in a second. Chain of Corruption that time does hit, but does not link. And looks like that's going to do it. Oh, the instant Nether Grasp. <laughs> don't, don't even show up there, says Pawn. Get the hell out of here. Jumping on in. Going to take out two more members. They want to get as many kills as possible before this game ends. Down it goes, and KT will take the victory two to one. KT rolls to decide they want to play an extra game of League of Legends in game three was very KT to esque in the end. It reminded me of 2017. The moment that KT get an inch, they take a mile. Good play from them there. Deft, certainly the MVP of game three.